Peace family, you here with uh, Brother Jabari from Reality Speaks, Soul Vibers Nation. We are joined today with a good brother, brother I've been knowing for, I think it's over 10 years now, when we first brought the brother to town. Uh, we here with Brother Dr. Scott Whitaker. How you doing there, brother? Oh, outstanding. How are you? Uh, doing pretty good, doing pretty good. It's, it's good that good. we got this technology where we can be able to, you know, bring programs together like this. And it's definitely good to see you, brother. I don't think it's been a year since I last seen, um, saw you. Oh, yeah. yeah, too long, too long. Too long, too long. But last time you were, was, was here in Baltimore, you definitely shook the place up, rocked the place here in Baltimore, over over at Pleasant Hope Baptist Church. And we definitely appreciate the information. Oh, yeah. I can't wait to return. You know, it's, uh, the Baltimore family has always been good to me. Right, 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 right. Ever, ever, ever since we first met, you know. So yeah, it's yeah, beautiful. yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, been, it's been really good. And for those that don't know, um, let me just backtrack a little bit. Dr. Scott Wicker is the author of a book called Medicine. This book is uh, this book is a very special book. As one author put it, you should have this book right next to your Bible at home. It's, it's that important. It talks about the med- medicine and the, 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 what do you call it, the death care? Industry, I think, what do you refer to yeah. as um, Doc? <laughs> um, it talks about yeah. um, he has uh, brother Dick Gregory who actually um, did the forward, I think, for the book. And it's just, man, if you don't have this book, Medicine, you gotta get a copy of it. Um, Doc, what inspired you to, to write the book, Medicine? What inspired you to, you know, walk the walk the walk that you've been walking? Well, just seeing the uh, uh, people around me suffering, you know, all the way from the from your grandparents to your friends. And, and and you see them taking a bunch of drugs, and they're not getting well. And at a young age, you see that, and you go, "Wow, well, you know what's going on here? Something something's not right." Right. And so, uh, had someone very dear to me uh, uh, was murdered by the medical establishment, mm. and then uh, I said, "Well, I can't go in and do a John Q," so <laughs> I had to go on. I had to go on and put it on paper. Okay. Okay. You know, the pen is mightier than the sword. That's so right. That's right. So I, I just put it in the book form and, uh, you know, medicine came about and, and, and it's been a blessing for the last uh, 11 years now. 11 years. Is that your first book that you ever uh, wrote? Uh, my first book, yes. Okay, okay. So do we have a, a medicine part two coming out? Is Are we looking forward yeah. to the next book soon? Yeah, yeah medicine two. Hopefully uh, looking for completion for 2017. 2017. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right, I can't, yeah, definitely can't wait, definitely can't wait. One of the things that you normally do uh, when you come to Baltimore, when you go, I'm sure, throughout the country, you say some things that, you know, uh, that kind of rocks the healthcare industry. Uh, you, 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 you said some things that almost got you put out of some events with people that, people that like <laughs> some of the things that you've actually said because you actually, I mean, you keep it real. You, 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 don't, right. you don't come to play. You come to, you to put the facts out. You don't sugarcoat it. You don't dance around with the whole thing. So we definitely appreciate that about you, um, Dr. Scott. So, uh, you know. Oh, I appreciate that. that. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate that because, uh, you know, I, I like being around my people. And so I'm going to tell my people the truth. <laughs> and uh, I just can't, I can't sugarcoat it. And then, uh, you know, lay down at night and go to sleep. Right. And, and feel good. Right. And so, you know, there may be uh, cases, you know, I had that one there in, uh, I think it was Silver Spring, Maryland. <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah. <laughs> Before I even got started, they they had me. They shut it down, boy. What was it that you said? What 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 did you say? I, to... I was just you know I, I was you know I opened up about you know the political scene and how uh, you know things are going that way and I before I even got into the health part, they they shut that down. <laughs> so when I thought about it, I, I you know it, it was in a it was in a mosque. I I said, man, maybe I made a mistake and I was in a synagogue. So I you know I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. So, so talk about some of these uh, 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 folks that's just trying to take the money out of our out of our people's pockets. I mean, the, the the people that's actually killing our people, you know, with the prescription drugs and all those things. Talk a little bit about that. Oh yeah, well the uh, the whole medical uh, paradigm is based upon profit, and uh, uh, you know you can just look at their uh, advertisements. You can look at how how they come out every year with with scare tactics. Like I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna expose and destroy the the, the Zika uh, virus that they're talking about now. Mm. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna kill that. Right. And 
And that, that's how it is. That, that, that's all about just trying to develop a new vaccine. So, wow. uh, but that's it. They have no solution for any, anything uh, re- regarding uh, chronic disease. And basically, uh, you know, they set you up for pharmaceutical drugs, which then again destroys your immune system, which then again puts you back into their arms. And then they end up taking all your money. Mm, mm, mm. So t- talk about the um the process processed foods that we take in that we partake in here uh, in this in this country. If you can just touch on the processed food industry. Oh yeah, the, uh, the processed foods. You know, I was just I was just writing down a couple of notes before you call me. Like the the uh, eight foods you should never eat mm, and have okay. to be all processed. Yeah. Uh, number one is canned tomatoes. Uh oh. What is it with two, the canned tomatoes, Doc? Oh yeah, the canned tomatoes. Because for one, the uh, the acidity the acidity of the tomato okay reacts with, reacts with the metal in the can. Okay, okay. And, and, and most of the cans are lead based, so mm. you 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 uh, absorbing this lead from the from in the tomatoes. Okay. 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 Uh, uh, all processed meats, meaning meats that are in packages, meats that have nitrates, so your, your luncheon meats and things behind the, you know, the behind the window that you pick out, things like that, all that right. stuff. Well, let me, ask, let, me, let me ask you this question while, you, while you're there, the processed meats. So you say lunch meat. Now, you know, they got different grades of lunch meat. Some of them are like solutions. Some of them are supposed to be like in store. They don't have a bone in them, but they're supposed to be more pure. Are they just as bad as some, the, the other, um, some of the other ones? Yes. Yes. Okay. A- anything okay. that's that that uh, you have a bone, no bone, <laughs> long as it's right. been if it's been processed. Okay. And in in a little package, you know, where it's like cut real nice and it's right. nice brown or square, <laughs> so you know, it's got nitrates all up in. Well, what about it, um mm-hmm. turkey? What about turkey bacon? You know, a lot of people. What what about that? Yeah, turkey bacon. Uh, if you get in the commercial brand. Uh, I don't know what company it does it. I don't know if it's Farmer John or what, but uh, it, it's nitrates. Uh, I've only seen one one uh, source of it that was nitrate free, and it was having to be in uh, in Whole Foods. Okay, okay, okay. So where wherever they have it, where it's it's uh, uh, denatured and processed, we can also find it where it's not. Mm. You just got to look for it. Right, yeah. right. So uh, let's see: canned tomatoes, processed meats. Uh, of course, margarine, uh, microwave popcorn. Oh, uh, GMO potatoes, <laughs> uh, table salt, soy, and artificial sweeteners. Those are the top eight foods we should never eat. Wow, wow! And a lot of, so a lot of people think that um, you know, so far as with the diet, losing weight and stuff like that, you know, what I'm saying that they can get the diet soap, soda, the diet. Diet Coke, the Diet Pepsi, you know. So talk about the artificial sweeteners that you're talking about. Yes, yeah, yeah. They 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 mistakenly think that I'm gonna switch to the Diet Coke, right. or the Diet Pepsi, and and it's gonna do my body good. And, and actually, the diet sodas are worse than the regular soda. It's just like uh, uh, decaffeinated coffee is worse than regular coffee. Wow, that I never knew that. Yeah, because to make it decaffeinated, they had to use uh, hydrocarbons to extract the caffeine out of it, so it, it, it leaves chemicals in there. Mm. And uh, the diet sodas, of course, are laced with uh, aspartame or, su- or sucralose, which today they came out with a study today on sucralose, mega study, said that it causes leukemia. So mm. I told I told the ba- Baltimore family 10 years ago, leave Splenda alone. And now, 10 years now later, they're saying it causes leukemia. Wow. So, uh, so. So, so 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 this is how you know I, I'm always exposing these these clowns, and, uh, and then ten ten years later, you know I'm 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 vindicated. Right, 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 right. Well, talk about people like um you talk about uh Monsanto uh you know um I've heard you speak about them often. Can you speak on that? Yeah, Monsanto, uh, Con Agra, all these uh big um what do you want to call them chemical companies. Uh, basically want to control the food supply. Right. And so they have massive amounts of money to uh, alter uh, legislation in different states, like they tried in California, uh, and they won when California wanted to lay 
label the uh, foods GMO, non-GMO, and Monsanto came in right behind them and uh, got that bill crushed. Mm -hmm. So now, so now we got more foods on the market that have no labels on them, and people are eating and don't even know that it's genetic. Mm. Wow, which is, a, which is a crime. Yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. So, um, uh, I guess in in, in a nutshell, you be coming to town here. Uh, March the 26th, 2016, and we'll be at the Pleasant Hope Baptist Church here in Baltimore. So we hope that the whole DMV area will come out and support this event. I'm telling you, it's going to be fire. It's going to be hot. Dr. Scott comes out. He doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't spare anybody. So, you know, <laughs> yeah, home, I got some new stuff too. I'm probably going to get a lot of people mad at me this time. Oh, man. <laughs> hey, don't, don't, don't worry. We ain't going to put you out there. Doc. <laughs> Definitely gonna put you out there. Just um, just real quick um, just maybe to talk about some of the things that people can do, some healthy things that they can do to live a healthier lifestyle. And I, we ain't gonna give up too much because we know that we got the event coming. But you know, some things that people can start doing to, to live a healthier lifestyle. Oh yeah. Uh, number one, of course, we all gotta start reading labels. Okay. And and, and the way you approach uh, the reading of the label is that if you can't pronounce the word, then you shouldn't be putting it in your mouth. Right, right. Uh, the same thing with with the uh, uh, things we put on our skin. If anything you put on your skin that you can't eat, mm -hmm. then you, should, you shouldn't be able to put it on your skin. Like for instance, I use I use uh, olive oil as my skin moisturizer. So right. you know I can eat I can eat olive oil. So that's how you approach it. Okay. And when you approach it, when you approach foods and and, and 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 different ingredients like that, it keeps you away from a lot of junk. Okay. You know, all your foods in your in your house should spoil. Mm. Mm, they should spoil. They shouldn't be sitting around next week, two weeks, one month, one year. You go back and you can still see it, and it's all right. <laughs> right. You know. Yeah, they should be coming in and going out. So, so that that's just a way of keeping things fresh in the house, keeping things moving, and uh, making sure that we always getting a fresh supply of foods. Okay. Okay. Now, now, what else will we be talking about when you come to town on March the twenty sixth? I mean, just just give us a like brief overview. Brief overview. We're gonna really I'm gonna dive into the uh, into the dental profession. Ooh. Uh, okay. On my on my travels here now, the last you know few years, I almost got dental health is almost number one now. Mm. Uh, I've just seen so much uh, destruction within the mouth that causes the whole body to break down. Wow. Uh, wow. We're gonna go into the a lot of the, the scams, a lot of the um, uh, things people are trying to make money off people, uh, a lot of a lot of a lot of things being pushed right now that that are just money makers, uh, particularly this uh, alkaline craze that's going on right now. <laughs> so a lot of it's phony, the uh, alkaline thing. No, oh, then we got some technicals. Oh, okay, you can't hear. No, it went it went out as soon as you said something. Oh, okay, okay. So I said a lot of a lot of the uh, alkaline, uh, the whole alkaline craze is kind of like a scam. Are you saying? Yeah, in a way, the way they're trying to sell these machines, okay. and really not ex really not explaining the actual what pH is. Okay. You know. Okay. Yeah. So, so we'll go into that. We'll go into, um, you know, they have this new product out called uh, Palcohol, which is a powdered alcohol now that they're selling to the youth. Mm. Yeah, powdered alcohol, cold. You take it, pour it in some water, and boom. Yes, yeah, it's deep for. What? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we'll talk about atrazine, which is a chemical now uh, being used in in the particularly the uh, the foods, particularly animal products. Now that's uh, of course uh, gender bender. Changing mm -hmm. the male to female and the in 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 the, in the female to male. Female, yeah. female to so what, so what does it has um um uh what what do they call it um uh I'm not exactly sure sure what it is but so you're saying that they put it in there so women are take this taking this to be more uh, manly yeah take the woman and and, and change her hormonal system and it, it takes the man and change changes his hormonal system oh okay okay does at the yeah. first okay okay mm -hmm. so yeah Atrazine, women, yeah. So is it giving women like the mustaches and all that kind of stuff? Mustaches and, 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 and male voices and 
and, and yeah. changing it. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> crazy. Oh, man. Man. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Brother, brother, bro, brother out of uh, UC Berkeley, biologist Tyrone Hayes, he already documented it all. And they, 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 they about fired him out of his position there. He's a professor. Mm. Yeah. Oh, man. Sorry to hear that. Sorry to hear that. That's, but, hey, that's, that's what's going to be going down. And also, um, what we're trying to do, Scott, uh, Dr. Scott, is to um, have just to be a live stream so people can join us uh, throughout the country, throughout the world. They can actually be able to join us live for this live stream event. And, you know, Appreciate that. Yeah, That's real yeah, good. yeah. That means everybody gets visibility. Reality speaks gets some visibility. <laughs> That's good. That's good. No doubt. No doubt. No doubt. If you guys, you guys, you been, you been putting in some work, man. Well, we've been, we been trying to do this for years. And to, you know, um, as Brother Bob said, you gotta wake the people up first, and then, and you know, and you can probably get them to do some work, but you gotta wake them up and show them that. What the problems are, so you know, like so far as like with social activism, that you have to, you know, like show that you that you about yourself also, and try to, you know, take care of your, um, you know, take care of your body, take care of your health, you know. Right. I mean, it's, it's something that I haven't mastered, you know, what I'm saying <laughs> because, I mean, don't get me wrong, I know I listen to the, to the Scott Wickers and many of the um, um, holistic doctors and also I know a lot, lot, I've learned a lot from you, but you know, like I said, it's something that you know that I struggle with. A lot of times, yeah. and you know, it's, you know, just finding that balance in life. But when you come and give these, these facts and you put it down, man, it definitely inspires people. And a lot of people are taking the information that you're giving them and, and actually really change their lives. You know, so we definitely appreciate. That. Yeah, I do. I get some. Uh, appreciate that. I get a lot. Of, I get a lot of emails. You know, people. Uh, you know, went on certain protocols that, that you know that were put on, and, and now their conditions on, and things like that. So mm-hmm. it's always. Uh, it's always, you know, real humbling and a good, uh, you know, I, I sleep good when I hear stuff like that. That's right. Hey, well, you've been doing a great work out there, Dr. Scott. So I'm I'm going to throw a flyer for you. So it's Reality Speaks to Soul Survivors Nation presents Dr. Scott Whitaker. And the name of the event is Nutrition Against the Disease, Healing with Whole Foods. And this is, again, it's March 26, 2016. It's at Pleasant Hope Baptist Church, 430 East Belvedere, Baltimore. The event is from 7 p.m to 10 p.m. The doors will open at 6. Um, you, the tickets are $15 until March the 19th and March the 20th through the 25th, you can get your tickets for $20 and there'll be 25 at the door. You can get your tickets here at, at, at Everyone's Place, 1356 West North Avenue or Conscious Heads Barbershop, 219 East 25th Street. For anybody who wants to give us a call, you can call us at 410- 303-1220. So that's just the information, Dr. Scott. And um, we definitely look. Is there anything else that you want to say before we close out? Um, just I'd be glad to see everybody come on out. Uh, the my the old family and hopefully it's a whole bunch of new family coming. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. We're gonna set up. Especially, oh. especially the girls. I want to see the girls, man. <laughs> right, right. I definitely understand yeah. that. Definitely understand that. Yeah, the, the daughters, the daughters. I gotta see the girls, man, perform, man. Oh man, hey, the, hey, the, 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 the young ladies will be there. Watoto from the Nile, and we'll be there with some kale chips, and you know we'll talk about that also. And oh, uh, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, definitely, we'll, we'll put that down. But they're gonna definitely have a few songs for you. Good, good. Yeah, yeah, I like that. No doubt, no doubt. But well, we definitely appreciate you for joining us here today, and um, look forward to having you here in Baltimore. And like I said, not only in Baltimore, but we're gonna do the live stream thing. So hopefully around the world, y'all will join in with us. We'll be putting up information about the live stream and how you can get on and come and join Reality Speaks live with Dr. Scott Whitaker. Peace. Oh, I appreciate that. Peace, Peace and love. Peace to the family.